Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Truth Tuesday. Today, I want to talk to you about something that I think is fundamental for everyone. It's a basic principle as we approach Christianity. In fact, we had some guests at our church a few weeks ago, and I just said, I shared this value, this principle, and they said, what a radical concept. We didn't think churches still believe this. What is it? Well, it's simply, I believe the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I believe the Bible and our church believes the Bible. We believe that it's relevant today, for today. It wasn't then and there, it is here now. We, we believe that God speaks through his word, and you couldn't get any closer to God than his word. How do we get to know someone? Through their words. We figure out whether they have credibility, whether they have integrity. We also believe the Bible is supported internally, that it supports it, each, each book together supports one another. There's no contradictions. There might be some difficult things to understand, but it stands internally, but also externally. Historically, the Bible is supported, that these people actually lived. And archaeologically, it is supported, that the places that we read about in the Bible, in the time periods that the Bible was written, were there. And there's even proofs of the personalities, the characters that are in the Bible. It's not fictitious. It is not myth. It's not mythology. It's not made up. It really did happen. The Apostle Paul reminds Timothy of this, his son in the faith, as he writes in 2 Timothy. Well, Timothy was probably the main or lead pastor in Ephesus, where he writes, Paul writes the book Ephesians. And in Timothy, he writes in 2 Timothy 3.16, that's easy to remember because of John 3.16, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete equipped for every good work. All scripture is breathed out by God. Breathe into a human being who wrote this scripture or the apostle Paul had talked it out loud and somebody else actually wrote it for him in their hand as he was growing older as an apostle. But it was God breathed, inspired into different personalities and different persons, th persons throughout the ages. It's profitable for teaching. We sit at a preacher's feet. We sit at a teacher's feet. We are in a life group when we study the word of God that we might grow. We, we have daily devotions that we might understand and be inspired by God. For reproof, to reprove the principles that God teaches. For correction, we all need correction. To, re to be reminded that we are to be kind, to be gentle, to don't lie, don't steal, and here's why. And for training in righteousness, the lives of the people who lived in the Bible are an example and a guide of what, what to do and what not to do what occurs when we disobey God and what occurs when we obey God. And so we can take the word of God, breathed by God, realizing that we're complete for every good work that God calls us to. Not that we're saved by good works, saved by grace through faith to do good works to glorify God. And so thanks for joining us again for Truth Tuesday.